next guest is a hip hop artist from Chicago. He is currently working on two projects while also expanding his knowledge of the music business. The brother smart, brother smart. He hopes to inspire others as he was inspired growing up by many entertainers and athletes. Okay, maybe he can ball, he can ball, I don't know. I would like to introduce y'all to Kendo Slice. What's good with it? Thank you, thank you. Thank oh, no you problem. Yeah. No problem. Good out here, thank you, hi, thank It's perfect, man, you live on the lake, man. Chicago is nothing like summertime shop. Love. So, take me to the beginning, bro. When did you know you love this music thing? Uh, first time I heard it, um, I always loved music. I think it really like, you know, it really took, it took on its own when like I heard Puff. Okay. When I heard Puff, I was like, yeah, he hard. Like I always wanted to be like Puff. Puff Daddy? Yeah, for sure. Puff Daddy? Puff. Okay. Diddy, whatever you want to call him. Puff, Puff okay. Daddy, Diddy, Love, whatever you call him. Hey, you know what? I, I, I'm not going to lie. I've never heard that from a rapper. You I know what I'm saying? Puff, Puff Daddy. But that, that's dope, you know what yeah, I'm saying? I, I like Puff. He, he's a he's a good businessman. I like his music. Sure. Um, I actually was on the uh, press play tour, but that's something different. Okay. But See? yeah, okay. I, I, I like Puff. I fuck okay. Puff. Okay. Yeah, so sure. keep going. You like Puff? Yeah. So that's where it started at with just like Puff. So I like, and what I love most about him is like the samples. Okay. Like he won. He was a fly dude from Harlem. He wasn't like trying to promote something that he wasn't like on the gangster side or whatever. But he just made good music over samples, and that's how I really got into it. And then from there, after that, when I turned like nine, I started selling like my lunch money for CDs. Dope. And I used to go every Tuesday to the CD store. If it was a new CD, an old CD, it didn't even matter. What was that? What was the store at? Coconuts. Okay, okay, class. okay, he ain't lying. He you know, okay, okay. <laughs> so I used to go there like every week, every Tuesday. I built a connection with like the guys who worked in there at the time. And I was like nine or 10. Dope. Sell my lunch. I used to read the books. Dope. So, I got into it. so you so. used to sell these CDs at school or you used to be on these streets? All right, so you got me. I did I did burn CDs. <laughs> I burned CDs to get my money back, for sure. Okay, so okay. So when when did it transition to, yo, this a hobby to, I'm ready to do this for real? Yeah, so my granddad, he used to write poetry. And I used to, like, write poetry with him. He taught me how to write poems. So from there, like, with the beats, it just started, you know, transitioning into raps, flows, rhythms. Dope. And I just took it from there. For you, sure. uh, who do you get your beats from? I get them from everywhere. So um, I make them a little bit, but I ain't really, like, into it like that. But I, one of the projects I'm working on with, like, a lot of different guys in the city. So I'm getting beats from, like, DJL right now. Um, Ether, Corey Ether Dope. is helping me. He gave me, like, three records already that nice. I'm working on. Um, DJ Elmo. It's a couple of guys I'm working with right now in the music. So, show. so what would can you consider? What would you consider your style? Mostly Midwest, East Coast, down South vibe. Man, that's crazy. So, I consider myself Midwest because I'm from Chicago, but I also have a Southern background because I went to Fisk University in Nashville, Tennessee. Oh, okay, dope. I went to an HBCU. Dope, dope. So out there, I started, I learned different styles, like Southern styles. Right. So some people who know me be like, you got a Southern style. Right, right. But I don't think so. So, you know hey, what, what was it like going to HBCU, though? Like, what was it like? Uh, you know? It was cool. It was cool. I went out there, like, because my mama wanted me to go. I ain't want to go. <laughs> you know did saying? you finish? Did I you did finish? finish. Oh, did. okay, did. okay, did. okay. He finished. He so finished. I graduated from there. But while I was out there, I'm like, you know, this is a new territory for me to kind of, like, take over. So I just started making music out there. I would go to different colleges or different bars. Clubs, and I used to just do open mics and I just built my name out there in Nashville, Tennessee. Nice, nice. Show. So, where do you get your inspiration from your songs or do you just make it up like a lot of people? Man, so the records I'm working on right now are heavily Chicago inspired. Okay. Um, one of them, one of the projects I'm working on is heavy juke inspired. Oh, dope. dope. So, I'm taking a lot of, um, Older records. I or think records. Doja, DJ Doja, the guy like that. Okay. The yeah. Brothers. So I'm taking, a, I'm taking like a lot of records that we like grew up on like in the '90s, early 2000s. No. But I'm flipping them into juke records, but I'm actually rapping on. Okay. But nice. I'm like keeping it still like Chicago. So it's like a lot of Chicago references and all of the records. Nice. Sure. What can they check you out at? What can they buy your music? Cause they, hey, look, my. My followers, they buy music. They buy music, word, okay? Word. So where can they That's buy your music at? For sure. Support the artists. So uh, the new, 
my first single off this Juke album I'm working on is called 40s. The, the single is called 40s. It'll be out on August 31st. The video will be out everywhere. Um, and then where well, you can follow me is Kendo Slice. So that's K-E-N-D-O-U-G-H, literally Kendo, like Ken and Cookie Dough is the best <laughs> way for me to describe it. And then Slice. So it's a it's a play on the Kimbo Slice, but I'm Kendo Slice. Kendo, killing, yeah. killing niggas, killing niggas. For sure. Um, last thing, freestyle challenge. You say you can rap, but let, let me hear something. All right, do, don't you got like an instrumental or something? Or no, nah, you just want me to go like- I Just go live, you a rapper, right. go live. For sure, for I'm gonna sure. put something in later. Don't Let's worry, go. I'm gonna edit right. you later. Y'all ready? Y'all wanna hear me? Hey, 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 make some noise, make some noise. Hey, yo, 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 live on the lake with Ken Do Slice! All right, check it. Kendall back like 4-5. Niggas hate, so I stay with mine. And I keep me a 4-4. Cause it's better than a 4-5 I don't mean to get political, uh But I run it like a 40 time I fuck around and do the combine All me, no cosine I got it busting like red line Pope in his prime, yeah This sound like 06, 07, 08, 09 I made it past 25 And I beat the odds on the guys, uh I pop my shit, uh That Chicago shit, let's go